So today's shoot is a little bit of an unplanned one. We, we knew that we wanted to come to the Peak District, but then as soon as they found out that we were going to the Peak District, all of a sudden they want to do some pictures like The Witcher. <laughs> Everyone likes that. I know it's cold. You've put your bag in shit. Who put that there? <laughs> <laughs> Is it that the unplanned stuff is always the best stuff? Because that is exactly what this photo shoot was. Literally, we had no idea that we, this is what we were going to be doing with our day. It just turned out to be probably some of the best looking stuff I've ever shot. Okay, so let's start off. A little bit of information about what's going on, who's there, what's happening, where are we? It just so happened that my friend's girlfriend is big into making costumes and cosplay and things like that. Um, so all the armor's made out of EVA foam. It took me like a day to make. Um, so it's really, really lightweight and then it's just got a lot of push pins in it. Um, the shirt and the trousers I just bought and then the wigger cut to pieces. And then I went and bought this. Cause man needs a sword in their life. But yeah, it didn't take too long, pretty easy. Disclaimer, I have not seen The Witcher and I have not played The Witcher. However, I have seen screenshots and thumbnails on YouTube videos and obviously I've scrolled past it on Netflix so I've got a general idea of, you know, what it's about but not too deep. So I said why not, we've got a bit of time, we're going to the perfect location for it, let's see what we get. So we're just four friends heading out to the middle of the Peak District just to take some photos. We didn't plan this, it was literally just, we're going here, hey do you want to do this? Yeah why not? Okay let's go. But above everything else. It's a fun day out with the boys, uh, and girl. Now, I did get one of my friends to film all the behind the scenes to this, and none of these other people are photographers, videographers, so they have no knowledge of the field. They only know what I tell them. And what I tell them is, point it in the right direction and twist that gold ring on the end when it gets a little bit too bright or a little bit too dark. So out of a one hour and 28 minute clip, I ended up with under yeah, yeah. four minutes of usable stuff. Now, I can't blame them, but that's a pretty bad hit rate, I must admit. I think the place where we shot this was just perfect. Like, it's like this is a place that you would feel is actually in the show. So, what did we use to actually get these photos? Just because I want to get that range, I'm using 24 to 105 f4. I prefer an f2.8, but I'm taking what I can get. Now the time of day that we shot it was a little bit strange as well because it, it, it was cloudy but sometimes the sun would break through and then give us really harsh light and then other times it was cloudy and it would give us nice flat light. So you know we that's another thing that we had to deal with, we couldn't really control the light until it got a little bit darker towards the end. Now when you're shooting in harsh sunlight situations you normally want to try and position the subject so that they have shadows on one side of their face rather than just being either blazing sun on their face and then blowing out the background or putting them in the darkness and giving them raccoon eyes. Now there's just a load of different things that you could do. So what we ended up doing here was we, we tried to wait as much as we could until the clouds were covering the sun so that it gave us a nice soft box effect. That way she was evenly lit and it would make it easier for me to edit in Lightroom and then overall it just gives the entire image a much more professional look rather than you know harsh lighting where it just looks very cheap. So we tried a couple different locations, we tried some stuff next to a tunnel, uh, that wasn't the greatest because again that was at one of those times a day where it was really bright where the sun was just coming straight through those clouds and it was just making things look way too harsh and just it made the image look cheap. As we move further down into like more next to a stream, uh, longer grass, that's when the sun sort of got covered up by the clouds. So that was able to give us a little bit more room to play. A little bit, the images came out far better once that cloud had gone in front of that sun. Is it? You're off. <laughs> <laughs> Move back! <laughs> <laughs> oh, our risk giving overs! Centre. Yeah, that was pretty quick. 
Now the character that she's playing is is the hero of the show. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot down upwards at her so that it gives her that more heroic look. Like she's towering down on everybody. She is, I don't know what his name is. A lot of people watching this are gonna hate me for not seeing the show. Okay, so once we'd finished down by the longer grass, we thought, we actually saw these uh, trees. There's like a little bit of woodland a little bit further down, but it's just so far to walk. I wish we could get down into that woodland over there because that'd be dark and that's when the light I've got. That would be a bit of a track, though, Well, why don't we go then? No. Why don't we go then? That's Just do it! It's quite a mile and a half away, uh, It is a bit f far. That's not far, I can literally... That's like a finger length Listen. away. Listen! <laughs> that's a whole finger length away. Finger length away. So we took the car around and we managed to get down in there. <laughs> you know what I'm not looking forward to? Coming, Coming back, back up. up. Coming back up. <laughs> <laughs> The scenery was just perfect, like it was just all chopped up trees, burnt patches on the floor where people have had fires, so it just looked like a battle zone, like it just looked like an entire army has just been in and just absolutely decimated the area, like wizards, dragons, all different kinds of things like that, I have no idea, again, I don't... I've not seen the show. Now, not only was the scenery perfect for the situation, for the shoot, but the lighting was perfect because the trees were blocking that sun, so it was making it a lot darker, which meant that we could actually bring out this little nan light, which I got on Amazon for 99 quid, link in description, full RGB, and it lasts on full blast for about an hour and 15 minutes. And you never need it on full blast because it's ridiculously bright anyway. But in this situation, because we were using it at an awkward time of day, we did have it on 100%. And we used it to simulate fire, to fake a fire effect. Like it just gave me that sitting around a campfire look. It just made the sword look more intimidating, like warm glow, like it was satin fire. It just looked, oh, just looked good. Now, not only that, this light is magnetic as well. So we was able to stick it to the sword and then we was able to get it to hold a sword flat so that we couldn't actually see the light on camera but it was just giving a nice warm glow onto her face to simulate that fire it over to her left now in photoshop i also added in some fire embers to make it look like you know there is a battle going on and to be quite honest this photo it might very well be the best photo i've ever taken it just looks I think it looks like something Netflix would actually use to advertise the show. Or maybe I'm just getting a big head. Now, having said all this, you know, it was a great shoot. We got what we wanted. But at the same time, this wasn't planned. None of this was planned. It was all done just off the top of our heads. Now, thinking about it, what could we do if we had planned it? What would we do better if we did it again. The thing I think we could have done better was probably the time of day more than anything. We, we should have more gone towards the evening so that we could control the light a lot more and actually manipulate the situation and get it right. Like, comment, subscribe, do all the stuff you already love to do. I will see you in the next one. Silly. You know what? To be fair, for an unplanned shoot, that, that's gone Fucking pretty well. You right.